my delusion to spell her back again to talk to you about part two of so you're dating again the next thing to beware of is an addict i'm talking drugs booze sex people pornography gaming whatever the heck they're addicted to i'm not talking about the guy that sits there once in a while and has a drink or two something like that i'm talking about people that every time you see them they have a cigarette in their hand every time you see them they are boozing it up getting drunk you know just totally never in their right mind stay away from those people it all spells trouble and it is not I repeat, not your job to get them into AA, to a counselor, to make them see the error of their ways. It will not work nine times out of ten. A person has got to want the help for themselves. It's just how it is. Years ago, when somebody had an addiction or a problem, I have heard they can put them in a straitjacket and haul them away against their will to get rehab. Usually it also involves something like electromagnetic convulsive therapy where they hooked wires on them and zapped them with electricity and stuff. So as much as I always liked the idea that certain clients of mine um, could have been hauled away and gotten the help they needed, even against their will, that would entail embracing all the other crazy quackery that went on back then when they were able to do that. So I guess I'm kind of thankful that people can't be taken against their will and it has to be their will to do it the reason i know this is one of the clients i had years ago um was a borderline personality and very heavily into um anorexia bulimia starving herself and would come on and actually tell me how much weight she lost bragging about it and i knew it wasn't healthy i knew she needed help and she said i wish you lived closer so you could come and take me to the place and you know, I said, well, you need to just go and, you know, volunteer yourself. Go get the help you need. You know you need the help, so just go. Well, she wouldn't. And I remember thinking back then, man, I wish somebody could just haul her away. I will, I'll report it right now, and they can just come and get her. Well, so I called the place, and they said, oh, we don't do it that way anymore. I said, what do you mean you don't do it? This girl clearly needs help. She has major issues. She's having parent issues, probably abuse going on, maybe molestation for all I know. He said, well, we're sorry, but she has to come here herself and check herself in. Well, I thought that was ridiculous at the time, but now I think I, I'm finally getting why that is. So, again, we're talking about dating here. You cannot rescue your guy or, or your newfound um, dating interest. You can't make him get the help that he needs. You can suggest to him that you think he has a problem, but... Chances are you haven't built a rapport or a trust with him. He's not going to listen to you anyway. He's just going to see you as some kind of holy roller, fruitcake freak that he doesn't ever want to talk to again. So forget it. Don't date the addicts. The next thing, do not date the braggarts either. Dudes that talk up themselves excessively. All they talk about is how wonderful they are and how they achieved the top level of whatever sport they're in and how all the chicks want them and you know, the I'm God's gift to women type guy or the demigod. You're so lucky to have me sitting here with you and dating you right now and taking you out to dinner. And wasn't that great how I bought you that dessert? And wait till you see all the things I have in store for you. And, you know, it's just lame. Don't date those kind of goofy guys that think they're everything and all that with and a bag of chips. All right. Next, do not date mooches and couch potatoes. These are the guys who are lazy, do not work, expect you to support their lazy butts, and spend their days in front of the television or just doing nothing to help around the house or anything. And I'm not talking about your house because obviously you just met the guy in some cases. I'm talking about them talking about how they do nothing and they sit around and, oh yeah, I got the charmed life, I just sit around all day and drink coffee and you know bet on horses or whatever the heck they do i don't know but you don't need that kind of guy that does nothing you want somebody that has a pulse and a heartbeat that's going to want to go out on dates and want to do things with you that are fun so do not date the mooch and the couch potato also i said mooch so these guys that think 
that they're going to try to get your money and get you to buy them things and make little hints about it when you're out shopping and stuff, yeah, run the other way. Bad idea. Bad plan. All right, stay tuned. I got more.